Today on Nova Legends Podcast, I have Madison coach Kevin Roller, who's actually done the impossible. He's the last basketball coach still playing in a building with Kirsten Stone, who's coaching there also. Coach, uh, great season. Congratulations. Thanks for doing this. Thank you, John. Sure. So, so coach, you know, th this year, uh, M Madison, um, you know, you, you lost at least uh, two key players, Miles Franklin, a um, great player. And uh, who transferred and John Norton and but you didn't get Miles's little brother who looks like plays like a little Miles and uh, and then he lost a couple of seniors as well so obviously there was going to be some transition and uh, you know this year he lost two of the first five games um, did you know at that point that um, you guys still are, are going to come together I mean the last month of the year I think you guys are playing just about as good a ball as anybody maybe except for South Lakes. Um, you know, maybe um, maybe Patriot, but, out, but in our area, maybe South Lakes. But did you did you know even when you were two and five, you guys are going to come around? I knew we'd get there. I mean, it was going to be a process. Uh, we we had five brand new starters. Uh, you mentioned two got two kids who uh, left, and I, and they both seem to have had or having successful seasons. So I'm hoping they got everything they wanted out of that. And we graduated three senior starters. Um, so we knew we were going to have to build around a whole new group. Um, I had three kids, uh, two starters playing football. So they played until the second weekend of December, um, going to the state finals. Uh, Steven Cruz, uh, who uh, has been the linchpin in terms of a lot of the success recently, injured, injured, got injured in mid-October. And he did not come back until winter break. So... We opened the season without three starters, so we knew it was going. Excuse me. We knew it was going to take time, um, but we were confident. I was confident, uh, largely because of the leadership of my two senior senior guards, uh, Suma Fru and and Stephen Cruz. Um, I knew that they would keep us organized, keep 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 guys motivated, um, and so we we plugged along, uh, knowing that it was going, knowing that it was going to take time. Uh, Knowing that the the where we needed to knowing where we needed to be uh, at the start of the district, and then knowing where we needed to be at the middle, and then towards the end. Um, so uh, we sat down in the beginning of the season and said, "Okay, uh, what are our goals?" Uh, and they talked about region tournament. They talked about trying to duplicate what some of the predecessors have done at Madison, and and we laid out where we had to get to and how and how to get there. And a lot of it was well got to make the region tournament. So how do you get there? Well, coming out of the Concord, uh, the goal is being one of the top two uh, because then you get that buy into the semifinals. And it took literally down to the last Friday of, of the district of district play. Um, but when we came out of that, uh, having uh, run the table on the back end, other than South Lakes, uh, we ended up with that two seed, uh, which then put us into the semis in the district uh, against Chantilly and, then the th and then the third time against South Lakes, uh, and then one one game at a time in the region tournament. A really good McLean team, uh, and then we had one of our best games of the year. And Stephen Cruz had his best game of the year at, the, at a crucial time with Wakefield, um, and then that sent us back to South Lakes again. Um, and it was really funny with the with the announcer going and for the third and then for the third Friday in a row, uh, South Lakes Madison. So. Um, I can't talk, I can't speak too highly about the leadership from the captains um, and then how, as a group, we've navigated from uh, not even with one of my assistant coaches playing and bringing up two JV kids. There were still days in the first few weeks of the season, first month, uh, where we struggled to play five on five um, between football players and injuries. So, um, so from that start, uh, I can't all the credit to the kids, all the credit to that group, uh, to staying with it, to understanding what we needed to do to be successful. Uh, we're not a we're not a full court man to man pressing team, uh, but we play our couple zones really really hard, um, and uh, and we've had that kind of success and got three kids, all three seniors, averaging right at ten points a game. So it is sort of offense by committee. Uh, and some kids have had um, waiting for which kids step up, but uh, the defense has by and large been our calling card. 
Um, and uh, I mean, I like to tell people once we were all back together, once Steven Cruz was healthy, um, take away, I'm trying to look at the stats here, take away South Lakes. And I think we're 12 and two with Steven as our point guard. Yeah. Yeah. And um, the last time you lost to an opponent besides South Lakes was Westfield an overtime back in uh, January 12th. I think the, Lib um, the, the Liberty, the Concord, was sneaky tough this year. I think mm -hmm. it, it's probably one of the best, strongest conferences in the state. And I, I don't think it's typically thought of that way. Very strong from top to bottom. Westfield had, had size. They're very young, but they could shoot. Chantilly beat a tough Marshall team on the road. You guys beat Wakefield on the road. I don't think there was, um, you know, uh, many uh, easy game. And Centerville had some young guards um, uh, that were very good. So I think that that conference probably got you ready as well. And your guards are very good. They're interchangeable to me. I saw you play four or five times this year and um, I couldn't really tell them apart the way they play. They both, they do everything. They both are relatively good athletes. Look like they're six foot, six one. Um, one's taller than the other. They do a great job. One guy I really love as well is Darren Nicely. Yep. Now he's a throwback post player to when I played. A six three, six four player, not the most skilled player of, of a day when you have your big guys shooting three pointers like the guards. He reminds me of the post players I played when I played. Uh, <laughs> six four post players, good good jab series. Uh, there was a player who played for uh, Charlie Thompson Lee named Terry Woodson. So much like nicely. Um, it, it's it's almost uncanny how much he could have played 1980 and would have been he would have fit in so well. Yep. But I, I love watching him play this year. He's all over the place. He's got a good attitude, rebounds, scores. Uh, talk a little bit about him and his development. Yeah, I'm mean, gonna be gonna play football in college. Still oh, yes. figure, I know yeah, his brother is still figuring out where his younger brother's a heck of a tailback um, for Madison. Um, no, he he's a high energy. Last year uh, came in off the bench and was that high energy guy, and this year uh, has had to step up into a much bigger role uh, from an offensive standpoint. Um, he's he's got really good footwork. Um, he's an excellent offensive rebounder. Um, and from about 15 feet and in, he's got a really good first step. So um, as I said, uh, in the district semifinal game, he had the game of his career against Chantilly. I think he had 25. He was just phenomenal. Um, but he gives us he gives us the size, the rebounding um, and uh, against good. And when he's got a good matchup, uh, the ability to put a put a dozen a dozen plus points on the board. Yeah, your other two starters. You know, one guy that I I think of as big country, uh, kind of a curly head kid who uses his body real well and finishes surprisingly around around the hole. And then you have a, a really stocky kid that, that number twenty three who, who can step out and shoot the three pointer as well as set, set picks. Who are those two guys? Um, I think the first guy in big country, that's Mike Dinkelocker. He was at my JV center last year. He's got great hands. He's 6'3", six, 6'4", six, wide shoulders. Um, the other young man, uh, number 12, is Noah Baker. Um, he was on my, he was down towards the end of my, he came off the bench for us last year. Um, he had the best half of, I mean, his the second half he had against Wakefield was massive. Uh, against Wakefield, Stephen carried us for the first half against, against Wakefield. And then Noah came out, uh, hit a couple threes and I think he had nine points, 10 rebounds against Wakefield. Um, so he's really emerging as the season goes along. Um, and the other player, uh, actually Dayton generally comes off the bench for us, except Wakefield and South Lakes because Ryan Furlong, number three, uh, who does all of the things uh, that are not in a box score. Um, he is the front of our one three one one three one zone. He is the best defender in the back line of our two three zone. He's our third core ball handler. So we were able uh, we were able to survive. He he'd been out uh, the last two games. The world, no, I don't want to try that pop up. Uh, he was mm -hmm. out. He missed the Wakefield and the South Lakes game with an illness. Uh, we were able to rally around uh, him and have a great game at Wakefield. Uh, we missed him at South Lake. Not only was it back to back, but he, we needed we needed him at the front of our one three one. Uh, Samai plays his tail off, 
But when Ryan wasn't there, we moved Samai up, which meant we weren't quite as good there. And it was a trickle down effect. So the other player, I mean, doesn't have great stats, uh, but he does everything that doesn't show up on the stat sheet for us, particularly on the defensive end and, and as that as that as our third ball handler in our general starting five. Yeah. Now, Tristan Franklin, he, like I say, he reminds me a lot of Miles. At, at, at the same point in their career, his shot mechanics, to me, look like he's, he's he's going to be a really good shooter. I think he's a little bit further along in his outside shot than Miles. I could be wrong. Um, but he seems like he's, he's he's very confident on the ball. And I think South Lakes' pressure was un- incredible on Friday. I thought he did a, a really a good job when he came in there dealing with the pressure. Uh, what, what's what's Tristan like to coach him? Um, what, what do you think he is on his tra- traje- trajectory being a freshman and getting uh, considerable minutes? Yeah, I mean, that says a lot. That says a lot right there. Um, he's the third freshman uh, that I've kept uh, on the varsity at, at Madison. And so he's got a, the two guys in front of him, John Finney and Bo Kublink, both had pretty good high school careers. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but no, Tristan is, he's, Unlike most freshmen, he's pretty he, he's relatively confident with people pressuring him and in his personal space. He's got long arms. He's got yeah, I'll agree with you. He's got pretty good shot mechanics as a freshman. So um, as he keeps building out, getting stronger, and building out his game, um, and figuring out uh, really where he wants to focus. As I said, I've only kept and then going all the way back to McLean, the only freshman I kept there. Now obviously I would have kept Park, but I got him as a senior. Uh, was Gordon Rogo. So the, the people that I've kept on varsity as a freshman have all had awfully good high school careers. And I think Tristan's going to follow right in, right, right in line with them. He's off to a great start. Now, uh, Coach, now the, South, the South Lakes game, you know, wasn't a obviously a good good effort for you in terms of result. Uh, kids never stopped playing, but it just, it just wasn't their day. Shot wasn't going in. Um, you know, it was, it was one of those nights. Um you know, when you, when you have a team that's played South Lakes to overtime and, and then in the first game in, in Vienna, um, you guys overcame a huge deficit to get back in the game. You know you can play with them. Um, do you worry about that? I mean, your form has been so good coming into that game. Like I said, the last month and a half or so, one of the hottest teams in the area. Um, do you think because you've had experience, uh, South Lakes is such a really good team, that's a game you can put behind you and, and the kids will be on the front foot on Tuesday? Absolutely. I mean, that was, I mean, when you won, I mean, I, I joked to them um, in the last three years, we played South Lakes 11 times. Um, and Jordan Scott and Brian Kennedy have played again, have played in all 11 of them. So if anyone's going to be able to be able to anticipate and react, read, uh, read react and, and defend our offense, it's the South Lakes kids. Um, we tried a bunch of things, but I mean, I told the fellas, I said, we played the night before the night before was the Wakefield game. Um, and Steven Cruz did not come out of the game and Samai Fru played 31, 31 minutes. Um, and South Lakes, South Lakes was up high, doubled high teens at halftime. And, they, and I think, uh, most of their starters were out the majority of the fourth quarter. So, we were coming in, uh, having expended all of that physical and mental energy in a, in a tough game. I mean, I love, I love playing in the Wakefield gym. It's a, it is a great environment. Uh, but uh, coming out of that game uh, and then not having Ryan Furlong, uh, that was going to be a tough one for us. And and we just didn't have it as a team on on a back to back. But no, I mean. At that point in time, I told them, fellas, you're in, in 6A, you're one of eight teams still playing. You're one of eight teams still playing. Um, and last year we got to play A-field. And at that point in time, the game hadn't been played. And this year, uh, unless there's a little bit of an upset out in Prince William County, we're going to line it up against Patriot. So um, I, I don't think there'll be any, I don't think there'll be any issue in that. So coach, I, I was at the McLean game and I thought that would be a 50-50 because I've saw I've seen McLean play often this year. They beat you earlier in the year. Um, they've had some big wins. They hadn't played as well late in, in the last month or so, even though they were finally at full strength as well. I went to that game and I thought you guys you only beat them by ten or so, but I thought you were completely dominant that night. I thought you had a really good game. So I actually predicted that you guys were going to you know upset Wakefield, upset and that they're the higher seed. Um, tell us a little bit about the Wakefield game. Now Wakefield had a team 
that had a, they had a really consistent season. To, to, Coach Bentley did a great job with them. Um, they hadn't had many off games uh, and their their losses, except for they had too late in, in the districts when, when it was already clinched. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, tell us about that game and, and going in. Were you optimistic that you guys could, could knock them off? Thought it was going to be a heck of a game. Um, confident. I mean, I think 50 50. I mean, I told them it's a fine. A lot of people out there are going to think we're a, something of an underdog. How big of an underdog? I don't, I don't know. Um, but I, we've talked all year, particularly the way we play. It's about who can control how the game is being played, not necessarily tempo, but just the tenor. And Wakefield did a really good job of controlling that first half. Uh, they're two big kids. Um, were really physical inside. They were able to pressure the guards. Um, and I mean, it was, we were only down to at halftime because of Steven Cruz. He hit four threes. He had, I think he had 14 of our 20 points in the first half. And in the second half, we, we got ourselves centered. Uh, we had a pretty, with uh, Michael Dinkelocker and Darren and, and Noah Baker, uh, it's a, we, we were able to put a pretty big front line on the back of our two, three, which, which, which was a pretty good matchup uh, with Wakefield. It ended up not being such a great matchup when you got to deal with Jordan Scott and all the South Lakes, but it gave us a really good matchup. And in the second half, uh, I mean, we pulled away. We took a lead. Uh, Wakefield came back, and then we were able to secure it uh, without having to rely on Steven. As I said, uh, Michael Dinkelocker played a great second half. Noah Baker played the best half he's ever played for me. Um, Darren and Samai were consistent, um, and we were able to, as a team, sort of get our feet underneath us. But the whole first half, Wakefield, Wakefield controlled that game, and they controlled how the game felt and how it was being played, except Stephen Cruz. Stephen Cruz shot the crap out of the ball and kept us in it until halftime when, uh, when we could get recentered. Yeah. Well, that was a huge win for you, and it, it, it enabled you to uh, cement your place in the state yep. quarterfinals. Um, last night you went to watch Potomac play Patriot. What did you think about that game? It's a heck of a game. I um, I had only seen Potomac on film once, and um, I didn't know a whole lot about them, but I recognized, wow, okay, Brook Point's running a whatever you want to call it. They're running a box and one or a diamond and one on number five, and I knew Potomac had a good guard. Um, dude, he's really, really good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Um, but, I uh, mean, a lot like Hayfield last year, um, Patriots just physical. Um, and in the first half, got a couple of the Potomac kids in foul trouble. And I think 23 for Potomac, who I liked, ended up fouling out with about four minutes to go in the game. Patriot was, um, but hey, uh, I thought Patriot was going to, they were up 19 or so with the ball. And I thought we're a possession or two of, of this game being over. Um, and they missed a couple shots. Five made a great a couple shots. And um, all of a sudden, it was back down to 11. So give Potomac all that credit. But, yeah, Patriot um, is deep, obviously. Tay Barber, they've got shooters. They've got size, athleticism. Um, reminded me reminded me a lot of trying to prepare for Hayfield. Hayfield last year. Yeah, this Patriot team is one of the best outside shooting teams you'll, you'll ever see. Um, plus, they, plus they have a you know, they have a little bit of size as well. Um, yep. So you know, look looking in, looking ahead till Tuesday. What are some of the keys uh, to success for Madison? We're gonna have to take care of the basketball. I mean, take, um, they're physical, but hopefully uh, we'll be. I think we're better prepared. I think to handle even if it's better length and more physicality than just how how blindingly quick. Brian Kennedy is. Um, South Lake really bothers everybody uh, with the quickness in passing lanes. Patriots much more of a physical. Uh, they're still they'll still get after you, um, but I'm hoping that uh, we'll we'll do a better job against their pressure uh, than South Lakes or Wakefield's. We turn the ball over too much against Wakefield, but it is it is about taking care of the basketball, rebounding defensively, which is one thing we have done very well all year long. Um, getting back in transition to keep people in front. Um, but then as we tell the guys, eventually uh, the easiest way to have great defensive transitions, you got to make shots. Um, and, and that's where uh, we're going to need, Steven's going to have to have a great game. Noah Baker, who you mentioned, um, he had two huge threes against Wakefield. We're going to have to make shots um, so that, I uh, mean, so that we can set, so that we're not trying to catch up to them as they're pushing the ball in transition. Um, I mean, 
I always tell people the, the game of basketball ends up being simple. Don't throw the ball to the other team. <laughs> Execute, stay in front, um, and make it, and and make open shots. It's just the fact that the other teams oftentimes make it really hard to pull that off. Um, but that's been pretty much our game plan uh, all year long. Uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna come out and be able to press you ninety four feet. So we're focused on keeping things in front of us, challenging shooters. We've We've done a pretty good job in in our two three zone of challenging shooters. Uh, tomorrow may to Tuesday may be the biggest challenge, uh, rebounding it well, and then when we take care of the ball and shoot it well, all of a sudden we're all of a sudden we can be a handful. We're going to have to put all four of those pieces together on Tuesday. Yeah, Coach Madison always has great crowd support. You think you'll be able to get some some kids down there to um, Nokesville? That's the hope. That's yeah. the hope. Yeah, it's it's a beautiful it's a beautiful country, beautiful drive. Uh, it's it's further away than you think, you know. So. Oh no, we played we, we played Sherman and uh, and Patriot in the region tournament. What was that? That would have been a Roon Durabs year. So that would have been the year South County. Uh, that would have been the year South County won the state tournament. Um, yeah, we had to go all the way down there, and Roon Durab had one of his best best high school games ever. And we were we were the obviously we were there, so we were the lower seed, and we were able to. Uh, eke out a win there um but so but it's a it's a nice it's a nice gym it is a little bit of a drive uh but um it's going to be a uh, i think it's going to be a great environment yeah definitely will well look coach this is this has been great you know another another great season everyone always talks about how tough it is to beat you uh, you definitely have the respect of all your peers i really like the way your team plays uh like you very balanced team as you as you mentioned um you know i i definitely think you're, you're nobody's easy out um Patriots going to play well to win as they know so it's going to be it's going to be a great matchup I'm, I'm looking forward to it and uh yeah let, you know let's uh you know wish you wish you the best of luck and um if you guys get by Patriot let's let's talk about the next one absolutely okay coach well look best, best luck to you coach and and I, I will talk to you soon you as well thank you everybody right, thanks yep, bye-bye